welcome everyone we are discussing derivative as a rate of measure this is my fifth class if you practice these problems you can easily solve both problem as well as problems of competitive exam so i am <coughs> this i have discussed this chapter derivative as a rate of measure and significance of derivative from basic part to part of competitive exam now consider problem number 1 what are is dipping out from a conical funnel of semi vertical angle pi by 4 at a uniform rate of 2 cm cube not cm square cm cube per second through a tiny hole at the vertex of the bottom when slant height of the water is 4 cm find the rate of decrease of slant height of the so vertex will be down down ones water is dripping out so this is o this is a this is b and for a tiny hole water is leaking dripping out now suppose at any time t initially it is full suppose at any time t this is ab and suppose a dash be the height of the be the level of the water surface now it is given that this angle is pi by 4 so this so first formulation of the problem let a dash b dash be the level of water surface water surface at time t second now suppose this is r and this is h now what is volume volume of the water is decreasing so 1 by 3 pi r square now data is given in terms of slant height now you have to express v in terms of slant height l what is slant height this is l in slant height so from figure so r by h r by h this is perpendicular by hypotenuse r by l equals to sin 45 So what is R? One by root two, and what is R by H? So R by A equals to R by L equals to sine forty five. So R equals to this. Now H by L. H. This is. hypotenuse this is perpendicular this is h is base cos 45 so h equals to 1 by 2 l 
so you are expressing r and h in terms of slant height l so b was to one third pi what is r square r is one by root two l whole square into what is h one by root two l so one by this is two six root two this is pi this is l cube pi l cube so this is relation of the and l in terms of l that is slant height now when slant height of the water is 4 so you differentiate dv dr dt pi by 6 root 3 l square dl then the water is dripping out so it is decreasing water is decreasing at a uniform rate of 2 cm so minus 2 cm you part and what is l a equals to 4 cm so minus 2 equals to pi by 6 root 2 3 into 4 square this is 16 into dl by so 3 this is 2 and 2 this is 8 this is 8 so we are getting what we are getting you look minus 2 equals to so 8 pi by 8 pi by root 2 into dl by d so what is dl by d minus 2 root 2 by 8 by so minus root 2 by 4 so what is the unit unit is centimeter per second so rate of decrease of slant height root 2 by this if we say this is rate of decrease we do not take negative rate of change of slant height minus root 2 by 4 by cm per so this is our question of board it is also problem of cognitive exam now look you formulate the problem and differentiate now one more problem exactly same look an inverted cone has a depth of 10 cm and base of radius 5 cm in the previous question so semi vertical angle is water is poured into it at a rate of 3 cm cube per second find the rate at which level of water in the cone is rising when depth is 4 cm inverted inverted means vertex down So this is shape of cone. This is O, this is A, this is B. So what is the depth? Depth is ten centimeter, and the radius is five centimeter. This is also five centimeter. is 
initially this is empty now water is poured into it then after time t second a dash b dash a dash b dash b dash water surface and suppose this is r and this is a so this part is full of water so you have to formulate the problem first let in time t second a dash b dash be the level of water surface now you have to find a relation between r and h so this is o this is o dash this is o a b suppose this is c this is o and this is o dash now look b o c tangle b o c and tangle b dash o dash c dash are similar you have to find a relation between r and so this angle is c opposite of it bo so bo by b dash o is equal to co by c o dash o what is bo bo is pi and this one is r what is co co is 10 and co dash is so you are getting r equals to what is r 10r equals to 5h so r equals to 8 by 2 you are getting r equals to 8 by 2 you have to express r in terms of h because level of water and the rate at which the level of water of the cone is rising Now what is v? V equals to one third pi r square h. One third pi. What is r? H by two whole square into h. So one by two r pi h cube. So this is v is expressible in terms of single variable h. So v v by v. 1 by 12 i unchanged ch square into b h by now put the given data find the rate at which level of water of the cone is rising when depth is 4 cm depth is 4 cm and dvdt is 3 cm cube per second given dvdt Three centimeter cube per second. H equals to four centimeter. H equals to four centimeter. So put the values, and you get. So if you put the values, look, dv by dt. So three. This is twelve. One by four. Pi, but is eight four square into d h d t, d h d t, and d v d t is three. So four pi d h d t, four pi d h d t. So what is d h by d t? Three pi. So rate of change of depth of water. So three by four by centimeter per second. So exactly same problem. The previous problem, the semi-vertical angle is given. So here, what is semi-vertical angle? 
so this is i and this is k so perpendicular by this so tan alpha equals to half so same exactly same now one more general problem water is running into a conical vessel 15 cm deep and 5 cm radius at a rate of 0.1 cm cube per second depth of the water is 6 cm find at part level water level is rise water surface area is increasing the weighted surface area of the vessel is increasing so exactly same problem So this part is full of water. So just of previous one. Now make a relation of R and H. Now this one is I. So from similar triangle B O A and B dash O dash. So phi by R. This is phi. This is R. So 15 by H. So what is 5H equals to 15 R. So H equals to 3R. H equals to 3R. So we are getting a relation between H and R. Now what is V? V equals to one third pi R square. When the depth of water is six centimeter, so h is given. So you have to express r in terms of h. So v equals to one third pi. What is r? H by three whole square into h. R equals to h by three. So one by twenty seven pi h two. Now, what is dVd? dVd, dVd equals to one by twenty-seven pi three h square dH. Now, problem number one: find the rate water level is rising. Water level is rising. That is dH by dT. You have to find. So, we have. dv dt equals to 0.1 0.1 cm cube per second h equals to 6 cm so 0.1 1 by 27 and this is 3 so 1 by 9 pi what is h 6 square into dh So 36 and this is 4. So 4 pi dH. So what is dH? So 0.1 by 4 pi. 
by 4 pi. So you can write 1 by 40 pi. So it is a rate of change of a rate of change of height. So you have already solved this one. Now second one you look. Second one. Water surface is increased. Find the rate at which water surface is increased. Water surface. Now, this is a cone. So, upper part is circular part. This part is circular part. So, you have to find dy dt. A equals to area of water surface. So, A equals to pi r square. So, what is d a d g? So, you have to give an value of r. So, pi into what is r square? 8 by 3 whole square. So, 1 by 9 pi h square. Now, d a by d t 1 by 9 into 5, 2h, 3h. Now you have to find dA by dt. So 1 by 9 into 5, what is h? h equals to 6 centimeter. So 2 into 6. And what is dA is dt? dA is dt, you have already calculated. What is dA is dt? So 1 by so simplifying you get the rate of change of water surface and look at the third part the weighted surface of the vessel weighted so this is also weighted surface this one also and this one weighted surface so, weighted surface means A is equal to weighted surface, weighted surface, surface, area of weighted surface equals to pi r L. Now, what is pi r? What is L? L is r square plus h square pi r L. So, pi r, what is L? L is, if it is L, slant height. So, you look, A is equals to pi, what is r? r is h by 3 and this is h square by 9 plus h square. So, you are getting S in terms of H. Then you find DS by DT. DS by DT. Differentiate it by product rule and put the given data. You get the rate of change of weighted surface. That is curved surface. So, this is general problem you are getting all the three cases. So, through this video, I have solved three problems of code. These are most important for competitive exam also. So, total I have taken five classes for significance of code. If you solve this problem, you must able to solve all the board problems as well as problems of competitive exam. So, thank you.